Hello friends, welcome to this session. We are going to learn in this session DynamoDB, one of the key database component of AWS. So we are going to learn the what is the DynamoDB, understand the DynamoDB operations and we will also learn the configuration of the DynamoDB database. So let's start. Okay, DynamoDB is a flat, fast, and flexible NoSQL database service for all applications that need consistency. So basically, it's this is a non-structured database service, and which is not like uh, uh, RDBMS as uh, Oracle and other MySQL. So this is NoSQL database and using for the consistency. It is a fully managed database and support both document and key value data models. So this is also supporting that uh, key value methods. Its flexible data model and reliable performance make it is a great fit for uh, mobile, web, gaming, edtech, IoT and many other applications so it's really lightweight and flexible to use the more way for where the data are non structured way and uh, their requirement is not defined for specific data structure okay so configuration part it is when created store on SSD storage for it's a uh, high IOPS so this will not be stored on magnetic and any other storage so basically store on SSD uh, it's spread across the three geographical distinct data centers so when you create a database in specific region so it will be automatically reflect into another uh, geographical region so this is give the very high data availability and backup configuration for your DynamoDB and it, it support the eventually consistency read that's by default and the second one is a consistent read so basically we are going to learn that in detail that what it's eventually consistent read so let's go so in this section that eventually consistency read its consistency across all copies of data is usually reach within a second repeating a read after a short time should return the updated data so basically this will give the your read operation after writing something in your database so it's give the uh, best performance in a read operations and uh, it's eventually consistent read means uh, when uh, you deploy uh, your uh, database in specific region and uh, might be there uh, creating a availability zone one new so in some case that's not for uh, specific but it would be the very rare but in that case it gives the some consistency eventually so give some uh, delay in the read but it's give the immediately um, uh, read operation after write strongly consistency read a strongly consistent read return a read result that reflect all writes that received a successful response prior to the read so basically uh, strongly is not default uh, configuration part of so uh, uh, eventual is the default so it's consistent read returns result reflects all right that received a successful response prior to the read okay so pricing basically we are pricing is very important in this case so we have to understand the pricing for uh, dynamodb operations so basically pricing are defined based on the throughput capacity and uh, storage and the pricing is defined as uh, with the right throughput and read, read throughput so you can see that 10 unit and per hour is uh, 0 0.0065 
is right throughput charge and uh, 0.0065 per hour for every 50 units for read throughput okay and for storage cost is give, give the 20.25 GB per month so this is the basic structure for your pricing calculation and let's try to understand with the example so let's assume that you have application need a performance of 1 million write and 1 million read per day and 5 GB storage so in this case we have to understand the uh, read and write capacity for a specific second so we can we have to find that so basically let's find the 1 million eventually spread write is equivalent to the 10 lakhs writes so what we are doing with 10 lakhs write for 24 hours for a day uh, we are dividing that in 60 minutes and again divide the 60 seconds so we will get the count is 11.6 right per second so basically we require the 12 writes per second so let's this is the first way so we can calculate based on the per second unit okay so we have 12 writes per second that's unit cost uh, 0.1872 per day for write capacity with calculation of uh, pricing given by the Amazon and for read capacity it is the 0 0.0375 per day okay so the co total cost of throughput is uh, 0 0.1872 plus 0 0.037 equal to 0.2246 per day okay so this is the performance and throughput price per day so and also we need to calculate for the storage so 30 days 5 GB so we have to calculate uh, with 0 0.25 into 5 for 5 GB and we will divide by 30 to get the per day calculation per day charge so the per day charge is 0 0.041 is the per day charge and so we got the per day of throughput and per day of storage so if if you make uh, sum for these two so it would be the charges 0.2287 is a per day and 6.86 dollar per month so basically this is the basic calculation for your throughput and you would require to understand the pricing section because it's really very important so this is the basic example your pricing okay okay so guys this is the basic uh, understanding of the dynamo db and uh, and this is the configuration part of dynamo db and this is the and we also see the pricing section so just we have to remember that it's a non sql uh, database and uh, give the consistency and it's best suit best suit for the different kind of application uh, mobile web games and and many more applications and we are going to learn the uh, demo in next session so keep watching uh, thanks for watching this uh, video please like comment share and subscribe for more aws technical video thank you